What's going on guys, Seth here. Today, uh, first of all, for let me say as well, it will not be when I post this video, uh, happy Easter. I know it will not be Easter when I post this video, uh, but I hope you guys have had a great day so far. Today I wanted to make a review and overview of my John Deere 55V. This is also the same as a 500VL. This is a 49.9 cc saw. This this one currently has a uh, 20 inch bar on it. Uh, very good, dependable saw. This saw was made from 78, 79 to about 83, 82, somewhere in there. Anyways, late 70s, early 80s. Uh, with the 55V and the 500VL, the earlier series uh, versions of these saws, um, they did have an issue with the flywheel coming loose. Uh, certain serial numbers fall under that. Uh, the, I actually looked this one up. There's a spec sheet just to tell online as well. This one actually did not have that. Uh, the later 55Vs and 500VLs, you see there's your muffler there. This is a horizontal cylinder saw. Uh, actually had a cover here. Um, there's your VIN plate that says 55V Curates Corporation. Uh, this one does have the older style air filter as well. Uh, started up here for us for you in a second and uh, I'll show you something else too that I did want to point out there that you don't see much online as well can tell it's a pretty torquey saw for what it is uh this saw basically of the day was the echo 501 p which is a very good torquey saw another thing i want to point out there too that a lot of people don't show is an echo version of it this is a 500 vl uh this is the echo version of the 55 v I did want to show the differences between them as well. As you can see, the clutch cover is black, where everything on this saw is orange. The handguard is white, whereas this one, it would be yellow. And also what I was talking about as well too, the little cover piece for this here. This one is really supposed to have a spark resistor about right here. Uh, I actually just bought the cover online. Uh, it was like $11.99 on eBay. And uh, also I want to point out there too as well. This is so far at the moment that I've only seen. This is the only 50cc saw, which is a well 49.9 to be precise. That is I have ever seen that is rated for a 24 inch bar. Uh, most of them are rated for 20s. Uh, you know, back in them days when these saws was new, 18s weren't really a big thing. But just a piece of advice out there for you guys that are running 24s on a 50cc saw. See this? This is a skip two chain. This saw with the 24 will cut the same as like with that with the 20. And it's not that much heavier and it doesn't bog real bad. The only time it bogs real bad is if it had a full comp chain and you got it, got it buried in wood. Now, do I recommend this saw with a 24 inch bar to run? If you're gonna use it as more as to help your back and not bending over as much, yes, I recommend it. 
uh, for, and especially for one that doesn't use a saw that much. Now, if you're out getting a 24 inch bar buried and stuff all the time, no, I don't recommend it on this saw. I think you need at least a 60 cc. But this one does have the premium air filter. Like that saw doesn't, and you can tell the difference here. Show you a little bit more in detail. That one's more like a rag that's on this saw. This one, you can actually take it off. There's a little tab. Right, yeah, right there. You can just take a screwdriver and you can pop it off. Uh, this is actually my buddy's old saw. Uh, he passed away. He committed suicide. Uh, and I kept it as a remembrance of him. The only thing that has changed about this saw since then is I put the premium air filter on it. The 24-inch bar is mine. That's actually a bar I bought off of, Echo, off of eBay. It's an old-school Echo bar, banana nose. It's what these saws used to come with back in the day. And uh, I put that cover on there as well. Everything else you see is the same. Uh, the John Deere difference, another thing too that isn't really precise on this one as well. Uh, the plate is actually an Echo plate, which that one is off of a 500 VL, the one that's on this 55. Somebody painted it black. I think somebody originally had two saws and made one, so I just kept this one because when I bought, I bought this uh, 55V off of eBay. I bought it for $75. It did not run. Uh, $25 shipping, so I had $100 roughly in the saw. Uh, it did have a 16-inch no, 16 16-inch banana nose bar. Uh, this one does have a old-school banana nose bar. The point of the banana nose bar is, is back in the day, the thought process was you're not going to get them pinched. Uh, that was more the other thing. The only downfall is you can't flip them. You know, every time you sharpen the chain or. Uh, however you choose to run your bars. I, I, I flip mine about every two times after I sharpen the chain and then run them and then flip flop them again. Or I always flip them if I'm taking a chain off for whatever reason. Uh, another thing too is I did want to point out with the 500, with the 24, is you, you never really seen many of these saws back in the day. I mean, I'm sure they're probably out there, but I've never seen any of them, uh, like, from way back when. Uh, you never really seen them much with 24s. Uh, to answer the question why you never really seen one of these with a 24 on it, uh, I will say this. This saw here, this between it and the 650, and there's also the, well, this one would be a 500 EVL which the clutch cover on it would come all the way out to the handle, to the handle, the foot plate. And then same with, and then that one was a 55 EV. Uh, they actually just come out and cover up the cylinder. Uh, there was a lot of complaints about back then, you know, somebody would get their hand and all burnt. That's why they put the spark resistor on it too. Um, there was a hundred, I think a 150 or $200 price difference between one of these and a uh, 650 EVL, or in that, a 65 SV. I mean, 65 EV. Uh, there actually was a price difference, and, you know, obviously, you know, the 650 EVL or the 65 EV can pull a 24 much easier than one of these. So you didn't ever really see many of these with a 24 just being, you know, that's a 64.2 cc saw. You know, I mean, it's obviously rated and capable of pulling a 24. You know, I mean, if you're already going to get the 24-inch bar, you might as well just get the power head to pull it. But occasionally, I do see one of these online. I, the last one I seen was a 500 EVL uh, with a 24 on it on eBay. I seen it about a year and a half ago online. It was a real pretty saw. But you don't see many of them with the 24 on it. And uh, also, guys, by the way, um, if you want to see how these old, uh saws perform uh with the 24 
uh, go on my channel and or you'll see a video or just type it in John Deere 55V with a 24 inch bar. Uh, it was cutting through some very tough white oak. Uh, it had been sitting for about it. The tree had been dead, I think, for about two years. And anyways, uh, it I had it buried in uh, that. It was about 20, maybe 24, 26 diameter tree. Well, anyways, uh, that, that saw actually had a uh, 24 with a full comp Oregon LPX chain on it. But it did really well. Uh, but I, I do think that the skip tooth is much better for these saws. And like I said, th these saws here are basically the CS500 one, 501P of the day. I mean, they're very good saws. You can find, you can pick them up from anywhere to 100 to 180 bucks on uh, eBay or maybe on your local Facebook marketplace as well. But no, uh, no, nah, I think they do good with the 24. I mean, I don't run these saws regularly. I mean, they're just more of like a fun play toy, basically, to say the least. But you can see there's the two together. Tell the difference, too. You know, you don't see a lot of people online putting these two saws side by side. Uh, the deer also, too, should have a red fuel cap. Those also have, like, printed out, you know, I'm sure you can see chain oil, fuel mixture. But, yeah, I thought I'd make a video and uh, show you guys these two old cool saws. But, no, I mean, I'll make a video probably of that one cutting. That one doesn't run at the moment. It's got a carburetor issue going on with it. I just need to clean it and... Make sure it's getting fuel and then she'll be up and going. But it's more of a showpiece than anything. I normally use this one the most, but it's a good old saw. I mean, they both are real good. I've used them, used them both a good bit over the years. I've had these saws since 2020. Um, but I've been around 55V a good bit. My grandpa had one when I was a kid. Well, he actually bought it new in 80. So. That's how I, I got one of my own, too, now. Which, it's a good saw. Well, like, share, and subscribe. And I also did want to point out there, too, to everyone that has watched my videos. Um, I did want to say this as well. I appreciate every one of you guys, uh, you know, leaving the feedback, you know, liking the videos. Uh, encourage me to make more i mean you know i'm ever so thankful for every single one of you that watch you know please don't ever think that i'm not uh you know i, I i've heard got a lot of comments and all on the videos and you know a lot of very good helpful comments you know i mean you guys are really watching the videos and i appreciate it and i appreciate every single one of you guys taking a minute out of your day to watch me and listen to me uh talk and you know and pick up some new things along the way as well but you know uh i did want to put out that i am thankful for every single one of you that took the time out of your day to watch one of my videos i am ever so thankful for that please don't ever think that i'm not uh but like i say be honest work smart and uh help your peers so hope you guys have a good easter thank you for again for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i will make a video of this guy here soon going in some wood i got some other requests for videos that i am going to get up with as well but this is just pretty much an overlook talk review so we will be doing an in-action video as well soon i'm probably going to do it a him uh more than anything but like share and subscribe guys thank y'all